Have you had enough of the radio and TV ads and mailers about the statewide issues on the ballot on November 7th? Me too. This is State Representative Nino Vitale, and I know I have written about this, but a lot of people continue to call my office, so I thought maybe a video would be good as well. If you want the short version, my recommendation is to vote no on both issues one and two. But for those who would like a little bit more explanation, here's my take. Issue one, known as Marcy's Law, is modeled after similar legislation in California. A young woman was murdered by her ex-boyfriend and he got out on bail and the family ran into him in a local store. It's a horrible story. And while this might sound like a good idea, is the Ohio Constitution really the right place for a very specific law like this? Additionally, in Ohio we already have laws like this. In California they did not. So the concern is that this is actually going to slow down cases and cause the taxpayers and more money. Now on to issue two. There are mixed opinions on this and I was rather confused until I did a lot of research. And I, and, and I understand these, we've got a, high, a lot of high drug prices, but is government regulation really the solution? My first concern is whenever government steps in and tries to artificially control something and not let the free market do it, all of our rates go up. Look at what happened with Obamacare. Second, with issue two, this will only affect four out of every 10 Ohioans. So 60% of Ohio will not be affected. Now, the government's picking winners and losers, and might the companies try to take that 40% lower uh, price on those drugs and increase the price on the 60% of us who aren't in that select group? To date, not one single statewide group has backed issue two. Even liberal-minded California could not pass it. I believe it is bad public policy to allow government to price fix and control free markets. This always turns out bad for us average citizens. So stay safe, God bless you and your family, and I recommend a no vote on issues 1 and 2 on November 7th.